Here we have another indeterminate form. If you look at this, uh, the base here is going to infinity because the x squared is going to grow more, more quickly than the x. So in fact, if you just ignore these terms for a second and forget about the 1 and the 2, you have x squared over x, which is x. So we have this is going to infinity here in the base, but then the exponent is going to 0. So we have this indeterminate form, infinity to the 0. So you might think, well, any number to the 0 should be 1, but what we're talking about is that the numbers here are getting bigger and bigger without bound. They're getting larger and larger, but the exponents are never quite 0. So they're just getting closer and closer to 0. So it's possible. Um, if these numbers don't increase very rapidly and these, this exponent gets to zero quickly or gets closer and closer to zero very quickly that we could be pulled to one. On the other hand, if these start getting larger and larger and the exponent's taking its time getting to zero, then we could go to infinity or we could go to some other value. So this is an indeterminate form, but again, it's not the kind that L'Hopital's can apply to. L'Hopital's need zero over and zero or infinity or infinity. So. Okay, so well, what could we do? Again, we have the trouble in the exponent. So let's try to pull our little uh, natural log trick here. So I'm going to take the natural log of the thing I want to take the limit of. But uh, I need that natural log because I want to bring the power down, but I don't want to change the number, so I'm going to have to undo that by using the exponential function, which is the inverse of the natural log. Now I can bring that exponent down this exponent because of properties of logs will come down in front and we'll have 1 over x times the natural log of x squared plus 1 over x plus 2. Okay, and let's see. I can, I'm about ready to pass the limit inside. Since the exponential function is continuous, I can bring the limit inside and just ask what happens to what I'm, I'm plugging into this exponential function. So I have the limit as x tends to infinity. Let me write it as a fraction. I've got the natural log of x squared plus 1 over x plus 2, and that's all divided by x. I'm just thinking of this natural log as being written over 1 and multiplying those fractions to get a denominator of x there. Now, this limit inside here, as x tends to infinity, we're taking the natural log of larger and larger numbers, so that's going to go infinity because the natural log increases without bound. And as x gets larger and larger, of course, that goes to infinity. So we have a form that L'Hopital's can be applied to. Now that that's the case, let's go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule, which will say, let's see, we get the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom. Now, the derivative of the bottom is easy. The derivative of the top takes a little bit of work unless we, pro we apply um, properties of logs first. We have a log of a quotient, so we have natural log of x squared plus 1 minus the natural log of x plus 2. So the derivative of this quantity would just be the derivative, the difference of these two derivatives. So we have 2x over x squared plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 2. Now that we've taken the derivatives, this is going to be um, some kind of rational function. Um, in fact, I think we can actually see what the limit is here. We have the limit as x tends to infinity of 2x over x squared plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 2. Both of these go to 0. In this case, um, x squared is growing faster than the x, so this gets pulled to 0. Or you could check that by applying L'Hopital's again to this. You get 2 over 2x which has to go to 0. And here, the x, of course, this is, this is 1, and the denominator is growing bigger and bigger. So that's going to be pulled to 0. So we see that the answer in this case is e to the 0. And e to the 0 is 1 for this particular limit.